Hello guys, let's see how to install SonarCube latest version on Ubuntu 18.04. If you look at my previous videos, yes, we did install SonarCube, but that was slightly older version. I believe that was 7.7. .7. But this video, we are going to use latest version of SonarCube on Ubuntu 18.04. Awesome. So this is my website folks, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Awesome. So let's get started here, right? So if you look at the pre-request, we need to have at least 2 GB RAM, right? So if you are uh, setting up on uh, AWS, make sure that, you know, you are using at least 3 dot small, okay, which is like 2 GB RAM, okay? Awesome. So if you look at the architecture, right? Yes, yeah, SonarCube has three different components. Okay, um, the first component is a scanner, right, which is actually going to uh, scan your source code. Okay, it can be any uh, Java files, it can be any .NET, it, it, I think it supports about more than 20 uh, different programming uh, languages. Okay, so that is what the scanner is for, okay, which works very closely with uh, uh, CACD tool, right. So this is the uh, scanner and then this is your uh, SonarCube server, which is like uh, the main component, right which includes uh, SonarCube UI and then also, you know, this also has a compute engine and then um, it also has a search server and whatnot, right? So this is the SonarCube server and then all the analysis report, all the uh, rules, uh, the quality profile, quality gates, everything would be stored in the backend component, right? So this is the database server, okay? The database server can be anything. Uh, you can use uh, MSSQL, you can use Oracle or PostgreSQL. So we are going to use PostgreSQL in this particular uh, video. Okay, so that is the quick uh, overview of the SonarCube architecture. All right. Okay. So the way we are going to approach uh, SonarCube installation, right? So we are going to start with uh, setting up Java. Okay. So we are going to go with uh, Java 11, um, and then we are going to set up Postgres. Okay, because this is the uh, database component, right? So this is over here, uh, and then once we set up SonarCube. Uh, sorry, once we set up PostgreSQL, uh, we are going to um, uh, set up a username and password, right? You see, we are going to set up a username and password, and then we are going to create a SonarCube schema and then assign the Sonar user to the SonarCube schema, right? And then we are going to uh, configure uh, the SonarCube application itself, right? By downloading uh, the zip file, uh, we are going to extract that, and then we are going to create uh, respective groups and the uh, user. Uh, and then we are going to configure, uh, you know, in the sonar.property file, the particular username and the, the username and password what we uh, created earlier. Okay. And then we are going to configure uh, SonarCube as a service, right? Okay. And then we are going to make some uh, system level changes in order for SonarCube to function. Okay. Uh, so that is a big difference when you compare uh, SonarCube with the uh, older version, right? So if you look at my previous videos, this step will not be there, okay? But in order for SonarCube latest version to work, you have to have this kind of, uh, you know, some operating system level changes, all right? And then finally, we are going to start the SonarCube server and then we are going to access it, all right? So that is what we are going to do. Great, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and then uh, set up a brand new Ubuntu EC2 instance, which is going to be 18.04. Okay, I'm going to go with t2.small, which is 2 GB RAM. And let's go directly into review and launch. And then I'm going to edit the security group. I'm going to add port number 9000, which is the default port number for SonarCube, right? And then review and launch, launch. I'm going to use one of my existing key. Okay, so that's it, right? So right now my instance is uh, coming up and uh, while it is coming up, let's go ahead and then make, rename this. Awesome, so my instance is up and running. I'm going to connect to it. Okay, so this is my, perfect. So we are connected to our uh, new EC2 instance. This does not have anything in stock, okay? So like I mentioned, we are going to start with Java installation. Perfect, so Java got installed. Okay, so that is the version. Perfect. 
and then we are going to go ahead and then install PostgreSQL. Okay. Uh, yes, like I mentioned, you can use any database, right? But we, I'm going to go ahead with the open source database, which is Postgres. So this is how you are going to install, download, okay, and then we are going to install. So this should install, I believe, PostgreSQL version 10. Okay, so everything is good. And then I'm going to go ahead and then start the server. And then I'm going to enable this. Perfect, so everything is good. So this, this will be started as a service, perfect. And then let's log in into, uh, let's log in as a Postgres user. Why? Because when you set up, uh, when you install Postgres SQL, uh, this user is uh, automatically created. So I'm going to, uh, you know, sign in as a Postgres user from Ubuntu into Postgres. And then I'm going to create a user called Sonar. Okay. And then I'm going to log in into uh, Postgres SQL. How do I do that? This is the command. Okay. And then I'm going to set up some password for the user which we just created. Okay. So I'm setting up a password for this user called Sonar, which we just created here. Right. So of course you can give any password, but I just want to give some random password here. Let's do like this, password one, two, three. Okay. And then let's go ahead and then create the schema, right? So we need to create a schema. The schema name is Sonar Cube. Again, you can give any name. Okay. And then I'm assigning the Sonar user to the Sonar Cube schema. And then I want to grant all the privileges, uh, you know, on the schema for that user. Okay. That's it, right? And then come out of it. Perfect. And then I'm going to come out of it again by typing exiting. Then I'm back into Ubuntu. Okay. So that's it, right? So Postgres SQL has been set up along with the username and password and then the schema. Okay. The next step is we are going to go ahead and then download Sonar Cube. So how to do that? Of course, I have already provided the instruction here, but the way you're going to do is if you just go ahead and then type Sonar Cube download, it's going to take you to here. Okay, so we are going to download the open source edition, right? So which is nothing but the community edition. Okay, so when you click on here, all right, basically this is what we are trying to install. You see here 8.6 something, 3.96. At the time of, you know, recording this video, so that was the instruction, right? See here? So I'm going to go ahead and then download this one. Okay, so that's exactly what I am downloading, right? So we are downloading community edition, Sonar Cube community edition, which is again uh, free and open source. All right. So right now it is in the process of uh, downloading the zip file. Of course, Sonar Cube is coming as a zip file, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and then unzip it. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead. Let me first install the unzip software. By default, unzip software will not be there. So you'll have to install that. So utility. And then I'm going to go ahead and then extract, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and then extract uh, this particular zip file, right? Uh, which we downloaded, because if you look here, so this is our zip file, right? So we, I'm going to go ahead and then extract uh, into this folder, okay? Into OPT folder, okay? And then if I go into OPT folder, you know, you should be able to see See so this is where we have extracted. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename that folder. Okay. It's a good practice to rename. Okay. By executing the move command. So I just renamed it. Okay. So, so far so good. And then what we need to do is we need to set up some uh, groups and whatnot. Okay. And then we also need to give uh, some permission, uh, right, uh, for, for the Sonar Cube folder. So if you look here, who has the permission? Root user has a permission, right? Okay, so by default, you cannot start Sonar Cube as a root user, okay? So the product does not uh, support that. So what we need to do is, we need to go ahead and then create a Sonar group, and then I'm going to give uh, permission, right? Uh, meaning we are going to change the uh, ownership of those two folder, right? By executing these two commands, now see here. Now this has changed from root root into 
sonar and then the sonar group okay all right and then uh, if you see here right under sonar cube folder if you go inside a conf folder you are going to see sonar properties right so we need to edit this uh, property file so this is the main uh, configuration file for sonar cube so this is where we have to uh, provide uh, the username and password which we had uh, set up earlier so that sonar cube server can connect to sigur sonar cube application or sonar cube this web application right it can connect to the database okay so we have to uh, provide uh, you know that username and password if, so if you remember i did create a user as a uh, sonar and that password as a password one two three i know it varies from what i have here but i you know i know it has password here but i did provide as password one two three it's up to you uh, but make sure whatever you have uh, set it up earlier it should match with whatever you are setting it up here okay and then one more thing what we have to do is since we are going to connect to a postgres sql okay so we need to enable this one okay uh, or you can also do like this okay so you can go ahead and then provide this information so this is nothing but you are going to connect to postgres sql database which has been configured in the local host right so let's say you did install postgres sql on completely a different ec2 instance okay and then what you have to do instead of local host you'll have to provide that particular IP address or the DNS name okay and then this is the schema right sonar cube is a schema which we just created earlier right so I'm talking about this one right if you have given a different name here and then you also need to give the same name over here okay whatever the name you had given here it should match over here okay so uh, that's all here right and then come out of here Okay, and then one more thing before I forget, uh, you can also, uh, sorry, let me show you something, you know, so this is the place where you have the port number here, right? See here, by default, sonar cube, what, you know, the default value is port number 9000, right? So you don't have to provide this explicitly, but if you want to change it, if you want to change the default port number, this is where you have to do. So you all you have to do is just uncheck that and then change the corresponding port number if you want to change it. But we are already okay because we have opened up uh, port 9000 uh, in the firewall rule. So we are, we are okay with that. All right. Okay. So let's move forward. And then we need to go ahead and then edit this file. Remember I was talking about, uh, remember I, I mentioned that you cannot start a sonar cube as a root user, right? So what we have to do, we have to change it and then, you know, um, mention the username which we just created, right? So this is the username. Yeah, because you cannot start sonar cube as a root user okay okay so so far so good and then i'm going to go ahead and then create a service right why because uh, every time you restart this ec2 instance i also want to start uh, sonar cube automatically right i don't want to start manually right so how do you do that you need to create this uh, you know system file, and i'm going to go ahead and then provide that information Okay. all right so everything is good and this is the username and then this is a group name and then you also need to provide this as well okay uh, because sonar cube needs these values okay all right oops so so far so good and then you know we need to make some uh, you know system level changes okay uh, so like I mentioned, Sonar Cube latest version, right? Uh, in order for those to work, you need to make sure you are having um, maximum memory and, and whatnot, okay? So how do you do that? Go ahead and then edit this file, okay? And then go all the way to the end, okay? And then you can add these changes here, right? So basically you are giving all those uh, you know file descriptor and whatnot okay so how many files you can open and whatnot okay so that's what you are providing and then come out of it and then we also need to go ahead and then make another file change okay so go all the way down and then you can add these two entries here as well right perfect so so far so good so once you made uh, you know these changes right 
go ahead and then uh, restart uh, sonar cube so i'm going to execute all three commands in once okay so right now you know we were able to start the sonar cube and then we also enabled as a service and then you know this is the command for checking right so it shows that sonar cube is up and running so how do you ensure that sonar cube does not have any error while starting up so what you have to do is you can quickly check the logs okay so sonar cube uh, you know keeps writing all the logs under this folder and this is the uh, you know file name okay so let's go ahead and then perform tail command on that file wow so we are seeing some error here that's interesting okay so i think what we need to do is we need to restart okay so once we perform that i think we have to restart our virtual machine okay we need to restart our ec2 instance so let me go ahead and then restart it okay so let me stop Okay, so stop and then let's go ahead and then start it. Why we have to do that is because whenever you make any system level changes, in order for those changes to take effect, we have to restart the EC2 instance. I will also mention that you know as part of the part of my instruction. Okay. All right. So let's see here, right? Okay, so it's coming up. Let's quickly try to connect and then see if we are able to see Sonar Cube, right? So let me connect to Sonar Cube EC2 instance again. Okay, let's go ahead and then perform this uh, log command. Let's quickly check the logs. Okay. Let's see, I think it's slowly trying to come up. Fantastic. See here, we are able to see this message. So let's quickly go to uh, AWS console and then try to access Sonar Cube using the default port number, which is 9000. Wow, see here, now this is our Sonar Cube. Perfect. So let's try to log in. The default username and password is admin admin. Let's try to log in. Okay. See, here, this is what I really like with the latest, uh, you know, version, right? It is forcing you to change the default password. Okay. So you have to change it. So of course you can give, uh, you know, you have to change the admin password, but remember whatever you change to and then update it. Wow, see here, this is our sonar cube, right? So we are able to, uh, you know, configure this successfully. And then if you go to quality profiles, wow, see here, so these are the uh, rules, right? See here, these are the rules which comes out of the box uh, from sonar cube, right? When you set up, see here, it almost supports, I think, uh, 20 different uh, technology stack, right? See here, so these are the rules set, all right? Yeah, awesome guys, you know, that's it guys, you know, that's how you're gonna set up latest SonarQ version on Ubuntu 18.04. Thank you for watching.